Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be going over some new Diana strats I found because I couldn't get my damage to be the same with the same attack speed and I just had a ton of issues. So I went and reforged everything I had to mana based things and just came up with this strat and it works really well honestly. Um, in the video I've had an inquis at some point and I kind of completely forget to have my gloom walk. It helps a lot because once you run out of mana you can just kind of uh, left click and right click spam and you can just get pretty much infinite mana. Eventually you'll be doing no DPS, but you'll kill um, the Minotaur in time. Essentially what I mean by Gloomlock spamming is that while you just spam your hype, you run out of mana, you left click, you just kind of spam that and you get like five hypes every time. And then when you get low, you just right click once. And it'll be fine. Eventually your uh, damage will be literally zero like it is here, but you'll kill the Inquisitor long before this happens. Also, if you want to reforge all of your stuff to mana based things, I use decided reforge. I don't even have my stat tuning set to intel, which I guess I could for more mana. And all my uh, talismans are enriched with speed as well. Uh, the decided reforge comes from the ender monocle in the bazaar, which is like 200k, so it's pretty cheap. You could also get an eccentric painting. You need nine of them, and they're like 100 mil each. You will probably have a lot more issues with inquisitors than I do. This is because I have 4,800 mana, I have an implosion belt which gives you 25% raw damage increase, and it's not that expensive anymore. It's like 80 mil, and you can get somebody to craft it for even less. And it's, it's super nice. I really recommend getting one. And I have a bunch of these uh, gear pieces maxed. I have like mana pool six on my glowstone gauntlet. I'm trying to get to 10, but it takes a while. There's really not a ton to explain here. All I'm doing is listening to the pitch that the ancestral spade makes. And if it's low, I know I have to go really far. If it's high, I know I'm pretty close to the burrow. Eventually the mod will highlight where the burrow is if you get close enough, and you can just go to that. When you click on the burrow, you can see a little arrow pop up. It'll be orange, yellow, or red. Orange means that you're pretty dang close to the burrow. Yellow means that it's probably like 70 to 140 blocks away. And red means it's literally all the way across the map. After I kill the mob from the burrow, I always right click with my fishing rod to summon a sheep pet. It's super useful, and I really recommend doing it, especially if you're having mana issues. Here you can see me kill a Minos champion using the strat. Before the update, it was like 10 or 15 seconds. Now it's literally just 9 clicks with my hype and it's dead. I love it so much. Here's a couple minutes of me just doing Diana so you can kind of see what it's like.
So now, here's me fighting an Inquisitor. Keep in mind, I just came out of like a double champion burrow, so I'm kind of low on mana already, and I forgot my gloom lock. It just kind of wasn't a good circumstance, but you can always just have your friends come over and help you, because you can all be in the same lobby now. They can just come over and hype spam with you, and he'll die like instantly. This still isn't that slow, honestly. I just kind of forgot my own strats. Anyways, thanks a ton for watching. Make sure to join the Discord server in the description below. While you're down there, you may as well hit the subscribe and like button.